In today's health alert, summer is officially here and experts are warning this could be the worst season ever for ticks. Of course, these little pests are dangerous because they can transmit as many as 17 different diseases to humans, including Lyme disease. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, here now to explain the reason for the increase in ticks and how we stay safe, Doc. Yeah, I heard you in the mic saying, oh my gosh, ticks. That's right, you know, we're definitely expecting an uptick in ticks <laughs> this summer, right? Michigan is fast becoming one of the hot spots for ticks, not a good thing. In fact, the Midwest and Northeast have a high concentration of ticks, but they can be found all over the nation. Many people think ticks are insects, but they're not. They're part of the arachnid family, similar to spiders and mites. Here in Michigan, we have about 20 different types of ticks. Surprisingly, ticks cannot fly or jump. Brian thought they could, but they can <laughs> detect heat, breath, and other signals from warm-blooded creatures. They need blood to develop and produce eggs. Now, bites from infected ticks are responsible for about a half a million illnesses each year in the U.S. That's a lot. The most common of these is Lyme disease. We know about that. Symptoms can range from fever, mild rashes, and achy muscles to long-lasting health problems. So one of the main reasons for the boom in ticks this year is climate change. We're experiencing shorter, milder winters and longer spring and summer weather. Ticks thrive in these warmer temperatures, so the changing climate allows for these critters to stay out and be active for a longer period of time. And we all want to get out and enjoy ourselves, Doc. we got to stay safe. I can't see going to get tweezers. I mean, immediately you want to brush it off, right? You're not going to be like, wait here, I'll be right back. That's I mean, exactly right. So what do you do? Here's the thing, right? First of all, do not be afraid, Glenda, to go outside and enjoy yourself, mm -hmm. right? Many tick bites do not carry an infection. And even if they do, if you remove the tick, as you were describing, <laughs> promptly or seek medical attention, early tick-related diseases can be treated effectively. Now, here's some precautionary steps you can take from you know, getting the ticks and, and, and getting sick from them. So tuck your pants into your socks if you're going for a walk in a grassy area. Also put insect repellent on yourself and your clothes. And when you return, do what Glenda loves, a thorough <laughs> check of yourself and your pets. And Dave also, he also has good tips for how to check for, for ticks. <laughs> and also shower, wash your clothes and, and, and dry them in high heat. If you follow this advice, you'll lower your risk of ticks taking a bite out of your fun this summer. I think, listen, you gotta be aware, but you gotta have fun, because you don't have that much time. You know, you only got three months or so, and then it's done, right? Right, well, thanks, Doc. We'll try and stay safe, I appreciate oh, it. My pleasure. If you have a health question for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. We'll get it right to him.